Hi and welcome back to the channel. So I've had a few uh, inquiries and requests on how to double balls, bank balls. Uh, bank is more of a, a US term really for American pool, but, but still. Um, so doubling balls. Now, primarily when you're doubling balls, it isn't necessarily a target on the cushion per se of where do I hit to make this yellow ball into the center pocket. It really is all about the speed that you play the shot. So what I'm gonna demonstrate first up is I'm going to try and contact the point on the rail. Now, I've put some chalk there just for my reference here. Obviously, you couldn't really mark the table if you were playing in mat circumstances, but just to show you guys at home. And I'm going to try and put the cue ball and the object ball in the same place each time to do the demonstration. So, um, firstly, I'm going to aim the cue ball at the chalk at, at a speed where I'm going to attempt to actually show you to miss the pocket. So effectively, I'm going to play too slow. I'm going to hit the ball too softly. So. And there you have it. So what happens is because I've hit the ball at that speed, which was a little bit too soft for this particular shot, it's then gone a little bit high of the pocket. Now, if I put the two balls back in the same place again, but I hit the cue ball a little bit firmer this time, still hitting the object ball at the same place, then this is going to happen. And now I actually make the ball. So I've hit the, the object ball in the same place on both occasions. But the first time around, I slightly missed the pocket on, on what we call the high side, the left hand side as I look. Second time around, I made the shot. Now just to demonstrate, what would have happened if I would have hit the ball too firm. Okay, I made the ball, but it actually went in off this side of the pocket. So, primarily what happens is, is that each time that you play in the shot, the firmer and firmer you hit the object ball, the more sharper it's coming off the rail. Now, where this could really be of interest to you would be if we were to find ourselves in a situation where we were in trouble and now the red ball is actually blocking the pocket. So we've got to actually attempt to maybe try and apply it into this pocket which then becomes a treble. So we're going to hit it in a very similar place to what I'm hitting it now but I'm actually going to hit it very, very, very firm. And, 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 we, and we actually have that situation so where in this instance we didn't want to make the double but we actually wanted to make the treble, we just had, had actually hit it a lot firmer but still retain exactly where we were hitting on the rail. So the tip here in the situation here is, is it's not so much about where am I hitting on the rail but it's the speed in which I hit it. So you've got to be very careful in something that you need to calculate for yourself that where you're hitting on the rail to make the double primarily is going to be determined by what speed you're hitting the cue ball as well. So if you've then got a situation where you need to play a positional shot after making the double, you then have to calculate where you want to leave the white ball from the previous shot. So we're just going to have a, look, a little look at that. So I've got the red ball here. And I'm attempting to play on the eight ball after I've made the double. So on my previous shot, I have to be aware of where I want to leave the ball. So as an example, if I was to play the red ball into the corner, I now want to leave the cue ball in such a place where when I play the double, the cue ball then naturally goes down for the eight ball. So first and foremost, make the ball. Now I want to make the double. So bearing in mind what we've just said, if I hit this too slowly, there's a, there's a possibility that I could miss the, the double on, on, on the high side. If I hit this double too firm, there's every chance I could miss it on the low side because as I've demonstrated with the yellow ball previously, what's going to happen is it's going to come sharp off the rail. So I want to try and play the double in such a way to not only get the necessarily angle I want, to also get the angle of the cue ball to come onto the eight ball, but also make the shot in the same, at the same time. So direction and speed control is really key here. So nice and steady with the cue ball. Make the double. And then onto the eight ball. 
So doubling balls really is down to how firm you hit them to suit the direction that you want to play. And I would suggest, unless you have to for positional purposes, try and play everything at a medium pace. Because playing, playing a double with, 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 with a really firm pace takes a lot of accuracy and a lot of years practice to know where you're going to hit it. If you play too slow, most of the time it's going to go wide and you're going to miss on the high side. So try and play the double at a medium pace and try and be consistent with that. Try and play the doubles at the same speed unless you have to change it up for a particular positional shot. So on that note, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and comment down below.